uh, understandably when one is diagnosed with cancer, particularly breast cancer, not only is it uh, a shock in most cases, but also for women, it's, it's just devastating because they're thinking about their breasts and uh, many women identify with their breasts and they're uh, concerned about, am I going to have to be pushed into menopause? What's going to happen? What is my life going to be like? What is life during this journey? Am I going to live? What's going on? And, and stress just becomes insurmountable. And so I always stress to my patients that have been diagnosed with breast cancer, how important it is to have a good patient advocate. And a good patient advocate can be a friend, a relative, a colleague, but also someone who is trained at patient advocacy. And this is the person who can take you through all the different stages from your first appointment at the oncologist to your treatment protocol, introduce you to dietitians, other practitioners who can help you through this journey and guide you step by step so that your stress level is such that all you need to do is focus on getting healthy and fighting this cancer and making it through the finish line to living a long and healthy life. And my job is to de-stress them. Uh, stress builds up congestion and stagnation in the body. And when a person is stressed, um, it, it's not good. It affects their sleep, it affects their, their appetite, their digestion and it affects the immune system. What acupuncture can actually do is redirect the energy, redirect the fluids in the body, redirect the neurotransmitters in the body, um, these are the, the brain or the central nervous system, to smooth out the flow of energy, smooth out the blood circulation, smooth out the hormonal um, um, diversification through the body so that uh, the person's heart rate will go down, the blood pressure will come back down to normal, uh, they'll feel calmer, and the, um, the flow of the qi or the vital energy that we, we call in Chinese medicine can flow much more easily.